Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to define a MATLAB script to convert an angle from degrees to radians. Now we know MATLAB has a lot of library functions, which is a predefined function that we can call to execute some instructions. In this case, we also have built-in functions in MATLAB that can convert any angle from degrees to radians or radians from degrees and vice versa. So the purpose of this video is to, is to, is to define a user-defined function which can convert the same thing. So we will see how to define an user-defined function and also execute a set of instructions in MATLAB. We will define an anonymous function or a function handler in this case. So first, let's see how to how to use the built-in MATLAB function to change any angle from degrees to radians. So let's define an angle variable, which is our angle. Let's say the value of angle is 30. So we have a 30 degrees. Now we, we need to change this degree value to radian. To do that, um, let's say um, I will define angle underscore rad, which is my variable. And the function here we're, we're going to use is called de degree to radian. And we just have to input the angle here. So if we do that, then this function converts the angle from degrees to radians. So if I run it, now as you can see, the angle underscore rad is my variable, which contains the radian value of the 30 degrees C, uh, 30 degrees. Now, um, if we do 60 degrees, then radians changes and so on. So that is how we can use the built-in function in MATLAB to generate that. Now, what if we want to define the same thing and execute the same operation by an user-defined function? That way we can see how to define our own functions instead of relying on any built-in function. So uh, an user-defined function, okay? So let's say function um, to convert degree to radian. This is just a comment. Okay, so let's say the function is, um, we will say rat underscore tick. So instead of say, or, or do this in the other way, degree to radian. So degree underscore rat is my variable. You can define another variable. It's just the name of the function. Now we will use the uh, at operator to define the input arguments in our function. So in our case, we have only one input, which is the angle. So let's say the angle is angle underscore in. We can also use angle as I have used the angle to define the, uh, the angle of the uh, vari variable, variable angle. So we have used another one. Angle underscore is our input vari variable. And the function here is um, pi over 180 times angle underscore n. So this is the formula to, to convert any angle from degrees to radians. So we have to use a pi over 180 times the ang input angle here. Um, and that is our function. Now we have to call the function if we want to calculate um, or execute those instructions and also give the angle input uh, variable parameter. So in this case, let's say um, if we call degree underscore rad, and here we just say angle. So it, it takes this variable 30 and inputs here in this function. So angle in now is 30. Now here, if we put 30, then that will calculate the 30 degrees to radians. So now if we just run it, you can see um, the, the built-in function of MATLAB generating the same thing as our user-defined function. So we have defined the same thing um, inside that function. So now we know how to define an user-defined function. And in this way, we can have uh, many other applications or examples defined in a function and just call the function and have an input to that function. We can also do multiple inputs and outputs. 
And if you don't know how to define a function handle, um, we have talked about in a previous video. Uh, so I'll link down below that video. So I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.